Uh, Manny, uh, congrats on your win again. Uh, first round submission so quick. Did you think it would last so short? Um, I was, you know, I always go under what my coach says, and he, he has shown me his his predictions. He thought that I was going to win the first round, and so uh, whenever Bill tells me something, I just, you know, I. I I don't want to count on it, but I always feel like he has a very good understanding of the sport and, and how the fight's going to go. So I trust him completely. Mm -hmm. And now after two straight wins in the UFC, uh, to buy submission, uh, would you like now to fight somebody from uh, top 15 in your division, let's say? Um, I actually just called out Benito Lopez in the cage. Um, I, I'd like to fight him because I think we're both young up-and-comers, up and I think that uh, you know the, sport, the sport's a very uh, like a doggy dog sport, and I think that uh, I, I can, you know, take that undefeated record from him. I'd like to put that one on my record. How do you think you would match up against Benito? Uh, me and Benito? I think I'm more dangerous than Benito everywhere. So, so when you got a fight like this where it's over so quickly, like, what really can you, what are the biggest takeaways you can have from a performance like that? Because there's not a whole lot to critique. Um, I mean, I have two UFC fights and two finishes. Uh, you know, a lot of guys in the UFC get by through decision in people. Uh, you know, they put on boring fights, but I think both my fights have been, uh, you know, for better or worse, they've been uh, pretty crazy fights, and I think that the UFC would probably enjoy seeing me more. So, you know, I'm, I'm here as long as they want me. Can you talk us through that um, the ending sequence there? Because I think you dropped him first. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So, um, he. Let's see, the fight started, I think he threw a couple kicks right on my leg, um, nothing too crazy. I was measuring him out, and then uh, when, I, when I felt the distance was right, I just let the right hand go. Um, you know, I've, I've, been, been working on, I've been working on my whole game, because, uh, you know, my first performance, I didn't feel like I, I lived up to what I could have done, and I think tonight I put on a little bit more of a show on, on you know, the, the kind of fighter I actually am. I think I'm a much more complete fighter than what people are. Uh, you know, considering me to be. And considering that you know this is a, obviously a contender for performance of the night with a you know, first yes, round submission, yes. <laughs> um, uh, is that something that you think about? Like while you're in the cage, when you real like, at what point do you start re realizing or thinking about that? Well, I mean, I think when the fight starts, I think I could use an extra fifty thousand dollars in my pocket. So, uh, I mean, the, the whole time it, it's something that you know, like after my first fight, I, as soon as I locked in the choke, I thought, yes, this is an extra, you know, x amount of money. And then this time after I knocked him down, I was like. Oh yeah, like this is gonna be good. You know, even if he got back up and then dropped me or whatever it was, I was like, this is this is a good start to a fight, you know. And it, it just happened so quick that, uh, you know. <laughs> is it like an extra bonus as well, considering that you had to wait? You know, you guys were supposed to fight earlier, yeah. like a scrap. Like, yeah, yeah. Like sort of like yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I think. Yeah, no, I, I really wanted to fight him down in Liverpool just so that I can get, you know, like, so by now I'd probably have a, a third fight in the UFC. But, um, you know, th things happen the way they happen. And I don't blame him for, for you know, because he had an, an infection which he can't control. So uh, I'm, I'm just glad that, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that I got the matchup that, you know, that I got to show off my skills with that kind of matchup. And I was just telling somebody else too, like, he, he's an experienced fighter, he's been through tough. He's uh, 10 and 3, I believe he was, before me, and then uh, he's fought, you know, he's a, he's a different kind of fighter. He's, a, he's a, one of those tough, like, UK fighters, more kickboxery, and, uh, you know, I think I landed more significant strikes, and then I choked him out, so. Is there anything more satisfying about knocking someone down? And then submitting them. I remember Donald Cerrone talking yeah. about it once. How it's extra yeah, satisfying. Yeah. You couldn't have beat them twice. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in the moment, in, in the cage, I was like, oh, like, <laughs> what do I do with this now? You know, it's like he's on the ground. I have to get down and, and choke him out. But yeah, it is definitely satisfying. Uh, you know, hitting somebody, dropping them, and then choking them out. I think it's uh, I just, I just think it's funny because now, now, not only did I choke him out, which is you know most of my most of my finishes are actually yeah most of my finishes are all uh, chokes, but now it's like I choked him out. But if you look deeper into the record, I also dropped him first. So, yeah. is is it hard to fight like a guy who's such a nice guy like Davey as oh well? Like God, he's, he's notoriously yeah. such a smiley, happy yeah, yeah. person. Does that make it more difficult? No, because I, I, me, me and him, I feel like are very like similar in our okay. personalities. Like, like the first time I saw him, uh, I was on the second floor balcony of a hotel. He was on the bottom, and then we looked down, and uh, we had never met each other before. But we both just like raised our hands, like, hey, like what's going on? And then we started talking. He was like FaceTiming his kid or something. But uh, we, we both just started talking, hit it off from there. Um, it's, it's not really tough because. You know, I've been friends with other opponents before, and then they still try to take my head off. So. <laughs> it is a pretty busy year for you when it comes to fighting. Would you like to fight one more time? 
Yeah, I mean, this year. yes, yes. <laughs> I would love to play one more time this year. Um, right now, I'm actually going on a little Europe trip, so I'm going to be traveling. So if you guys are in Paris, you guys are in Italy, you guys can find me there on a beach somewhere. Um, but you know, definitely six months is way too long for me to go without fighting. Um, if, if the UFC comes into Boston next year, like I know they usually come in January, that's my hometown. I would definitely love to go represent all my all my family, all my friends. Uh, I, lo I love to represent South Shore Sport Fighting, Rugged RX Fitness, Cage Titans. You know, my little town of Abington just has like the, the I don't know, just the most sincere people, and uh, I would just love to see them all rile up and and go down to the. Uh, to, to the TD Garden and just, you know, support me down there, so. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.